This time we're going to be looking at the grouping and the number of macros that you can use uh, in your instrument or effects groups in Ableton Live. Uh, you, the number of macros you can use now has been increased up to uh, a maximum of 16 and you can decrease them and increase them with these plus and minus buttons here. Um, you can add them to uh, whatever you want so let's just map these quickly. Okay, now I've mapped everything just really randomly. Um, the idea is to show off this new random button. Essentially, what you can do is you can randomize all of these parameters. So if we just play the bass sound, sounds like this at the moment. Randomize it. We get this. So some of these bass sounds sound great, some of them don't. The ones that sound good, you can store them as a as a preset or a snapshot. So that's variation one. Let's make another one. Obviously. All right, so we'll save that as variation two. Some of them don't sound because I've uh, assigned them to the filter and sometimes the filter is just set so wrong that they don't sound so we'll just keep going through okay so it's really easy to flip from one variation to the other which is fantastic and of course all of this is MIDI assignable so you you can assign up and down buttons so you can toggle between all the variations and uh, you can obviously you can assign your MIDI controllers to all the other bits as well so if you like being a little bit random this is a, a great improvement so thanks for watching